Hey, it's Chris. Goldline Cards here. Video number two ever. I just wanted to upload a short video. Um, I got a Topps 2019 Series 1 sitting here. A 2020 opening day and a Gypsy Queen. Just wanted to go through a couple of them and just kind of show you the difference and see, uh, see what I like about them, see what I don't like about them, and some cards I got from, you know, different people do different things online. They have fire sales. Uh, people do auctions like Eloy the Goat. And right now, Jimmy the Gun Show is on there. Um, definitely hit those guys up if you're doing auctions. I know I've got some of these sweet cards from them. There's different breakers out there. Um, just a few I like is Nickel City Cards, Buck City Breaks, Mikey B's. You know, if I'm, if I'm leaving you out, I apologize. Just people that come to mind off the top of my head. Uh, something that I want to talk to you about too is this card right here. Just base Jesse Winker card. You have no idea how happy this card makes a four-year-old little girl. She pulled this today out of a box that my wife got at Walmart for, I don't know, maybe like 15 bucks. But this card right here, she paraded around our house screaming, Jesse Winker, Jesse Winker. And she does the same thing for Joey Votto every single time she pulls them. And she really loves the, the Winker card from the 2020 where he's uh, diving up against the wall. She must have 15 of those just sitting in her room. And it really takes into to account the word value. I was going to flip through some of these cards here as I'm talking. What is the value of this card? Nick Senzel, rookie debut refractor. I don't know. I might have paid $10 for it. But you know what? To me, this card has more value because I'm a Reds fan. And I really like the way it looks. Some of these right here, I got through Eloy's auctions, Justice Sheffield, Brandon Phillips. I paid $10 for these. These have more value to me than, than the $10 that I paid for them. Oh, except for Kuna, I pulled him, but no fan. Look at this. DeGrom. Beautiful card. Strass. Giannis, got yeah, my cards all mixed up in here, but you get the point anyways. Yonder Alonzo Auto. So are these cards worth 50 bucks, 80 bucks? I don't know, but he's got some cards up there that he sells for quite under what they're worth, but it's the value to you. What are you willing to pay for a card? I had somebody ask me earlier, hey, okay, offer me up something. Okay, these cards are worth $25 to me. Said so that's fine, that works. What's worth it to me may not be worth it to you. And I think that's something that gets lost in the value of cards. I'm much more willing to pay more for a Drew Locke because I'm a Broncos fan than I am for a Kyler Murray because I'm a Broncos fan. Now these two Philly cars, I'm going to have to send to my buddy Abdul because he's a huge Philly fan. Got these Jeff McNeil, DJ LeMayhew All-Star Games. He's come right out of the... 2019 top series one box they're probably also mixed up in with the updated series too that we got the same day so these are going to be both in the same ones just really it's got to be the updated series it's got the all-star games on there really love the way the tops looks homer bailey this is my guy this guy threw two no hitters for the reds most underappreciated person it's because he had elbow problems come on reds fans show him some love and then you got the gold Brandon Woodruff right here, all-star game. The 150 Estrada and a cheater. Then you got the perennial all-star cheater and the perennial all-star goat right there. Just some good-looking cards. I mean, Carter Kaboom, this is my guy right here. Look how beautiful this card is. Look at the genuine smiles on him. Whoever these photographers are, they're just simply amazing. We went through that when we saw the, uh, the Don Russ the other day. Opening day cards very similar. Right here we're on top. We got the man Clayton. Look how high that leg kick is. I mean, you can see the wrinkles in his pants, the looks in his eyes that he's giving the batters. You want to stand in the batter's box with 90 mile an hour pitch coming, or maybe a 67 mile an hour curveball that drops six feet. Got another flarity. Here's the winker I'm talking about. This card right here. This is a beautiful card. It's probably worth 25 cents, but to a four-year-old, this is worth 
Acuna bat down. I mean, it just is. Adults, we need to get our priorities straight. There are people out there who want to buy cards just to flip them. My buddy, card guy Cody, he does that. 19-year-old kid out there hustling, buying and selling cards, telling me how to buy and sell Lonzo Balls and uh, Jason Tatum rookies just to flip them. There's people out there who buy hits to sell them on their auctions. Look at that Cody Bellinger. It's a beautiful card. There's guys out here like me who just like to rip. I mean, my wife and I will come home with a box maybe once or twice a week. We'll just sit down and and rip. And we said, you know, whoever gets the best card gets the last pack in the case. And we go through them. And I put my best card up versus hers. And that's how we roll because that's how our family likes to do stuff. I mean, look at this beautiful card. He probably didn't even touch second base on this double play. They should go review that. I'm just teasing around. But uh, Charlie Blackman with the beard. You can tell he even uses beard oil probably. Get some Sasquatch up in there. Evan Longo. Well, these are some of the opening day cards. But obviously with the opening day logo. There is one card in here that I do have. I'm not sure I'm going to get to it. But it says opening day. March 26th, 2020. Well, as we all know, March 26th, 2020 came and went without an opening day. So I wonder if that's going to be considered a print error or what they're going to do with that because that's the most, to me, this is just the best card out there, this Bryce Harper. There's different variations of this. I've got the hologram foil. It is beautiful. Got the Goldschmidt, the Cheater, Yachtier. Opening day, Tampa. Finally got a Reds one from somebody. Thank you. Eloy. Cody. He's the guy. But there's different people out on Twitter doing different things. On Instagram, doing different things for different reasons. Different value. Like I said, value is, is all relative. This card right here. I think I paid $14 for it. Probably worth maybe six. Matt Olson, beautiful looking card, but I really like this guy and I wanted to have it. So you know what? It was worth fourteen dollars to me, and that's just how it is. These packs of Gypsy Queens, maybe twenty dollars or so. But the time I get to spend with my wife and my daughter opening it, as as worth it, no matter what comes in the pack. When you finally start opening packs, it doesn't bring you joy. Someone mentioned this on Twitter to me that I said, I, you know, I've been posting hashtag a card a day 2020 and I posted those Bryce Harpers. It was just a really nice looking card that I like. And when you stop enjoying this, when you stop feeling the joy because you didn't get a big hit in a pack, if you stop feeling the joy because you didn't get an Acuna or you didn't get a Luis Robert or you didn't get you know, your guy from your team or a Joey Votto for me or a Senzel or a Kino, then it's time to reevaluate what you're doing. You know, I spent $20 on this pack of cards and it was probably $10 worth of quality family time with my wife and my daughter who also likes to rip. Maybe I got $20 out of it. Maybe I didn't, but these gypsy queens are really nice. I love this guy right here from the Indians. Being in Columbus, we have their AAA team. You get to spend a lot of time getting to know them if you have season tickets. And uh, especially when the Yankees were here, my wife's family has Jorge Posadas and Lucinas and Jeter and uh, Andy Pettit, all kind of Clipper stuff. It's pretty incredible. The Wheel of Fortune, Baez, Paxton, the Juan Sotos. I like the way the Gypsy Queens looks. They feel a whole lot different, a little heavier and not shiny like the, uh, the tops. But these are still really good looking cards. Trey Turner's my guy. Ramirez. There's your Cubs boy right there. I mean, that is just a beautiful looking card. I, this has got to go to me, you know, in a sleeve, in a top loader. Doesn't need a one touch or anything, but you got to look for what makes you happy. You know, ripping this pack right here. No idea who this guy is, but he's going to go in a sleeve. Oh, I got my guy Lewis from Seattle. <laughs> Then you got to think too, do uh, the collecting cards. I know when I went and did an NFL fantasy draft, I took afterwards as the commissioner took a card of every single player that was drafted and gave it to the guys. And they thought it was so cool. None of my friends collect cards like I do, but they all now have it. It was my first Suarez I ever picked out of a bag. I've bought plenty. It was the first one I ever pulled out of a stack. 
Rendon, another Aquino. If you need some Aquinos, I know I got some turkeys that I had to I sent to a buddy this week, but I got plenty of them. <laughs> Love these spring training cards that they've got. Oh, here we go. Here's the one I'm talking about. Right there. March 26, 2020 out of Kirby Yates. Well, that day came and Kirby, you know what? You are not pitching that day, buddy. We're back to the opening day pack here. And you're listening to me ramble on. I really like this guy too. Um, this guy's all right. I mean, if you maybe you've heard of him before. You probably stopped watching by now, but uh definitely want to make sure i give out to my shout out to my buddy nick uh, i was talking about the pine tar times on my last video and i forgot to mention him he's at nickalicious 33 on twitter we started a website just writing stuff for fans by fans so i'm writing red stuff he's writing white Sox stuff and we've got other people writing stuff but I, you know i forgot to mention his name last time but i remembered the pine turner time so i wanted to give nick a shout out this time and again we uh we got the shout out to card guy cody for helping me with um flipping you know flipping's not really my thing i'd rather buy and hold uh ebay is a good place at three o'clock in the morning to type in psa 10 find out what you come up with um my dude Eloy with the uh, the hookups on the auctions and then and then the gun show is currently doing one. So it's wanna upload this video later and not do it uh live. I don't wanna step on anybody's toes. This is only the second video I've ever made. I like these people. We hang out. Not in real life because he lives in uh, you know, another state, but on Twitter, a Mike Leak. I turned my Adam Dunn jersey into a Mike Leak jersey. Now it's gonna be in a Kino. That'd be pretty sweet. I like the way this looks. You know, Leak is the first player, I think, since Dwight Gooden to go straight from college to the pros without even making a minor league start. Went straight from Arizona State to the Reds. <laughs> Bet you didn't know that. All right. Well, I am Gold Line Cards on Twitter uh, and Instagram. And now, welcome to my YouTube Come find me. Come do some hangs. We'll talk. I do a lot of giveaways. Currently, I have 38 giveaways going on. So, if I owe you some cards, you'll be getting them. And had my first sale this week. Um, I just did a mystery box. And someone wanted some mystery cards. So, 12 cards. Going to send it to somebody. Or 20 cards. $12 shipped bubble mail with bubble mailer we're tracking we all know bubble mailers are with tracking is about four bucks so it's eight dollars for 20 cards guarantee you'll get your money back i just i love this guy right here you got some dustin mays hit me up send him my way sunny gray in the reds uniform everybody knows bo is he is he the new guy should we get should we get these shirts made bo knows baseball think bo jackson fight him over it i don't know let's see if he can break a baseball bat over his knee first if you saw phil's pulls picture or twitter today showed a picture of his knee with this guy taking 107 said 107 mile an hour line drive right off his leg that's gotta hurt buster posey my wife last night and eloy's auctions bought a buster posey card for 10 bucks that had a <laughs> had a part of a baseball bat in and talked to her this morning over breakfast she didn't even remember because she was half asleep so he's getting some uh, some sleepy time money out of me so Garrett Cooper, uh, I got a son named Cooper, so we collect Cooper Cups for him. Going to try to start collecting some Garrett Coopers for him, too. Uh, collect Reds for my daughter, Claire. Going to send Corey Seegers to Alloy. Anybody know who this is? I haven't heard of him before, but that face he's making, he kind of looks like Tim Tebow right there, right? Carpenter, Polanco, opening day Washington. Max Muncy, Shane Bieber. Opening day, I'm so disappointed it's canceled. It's a Capel family tradition because that's my name. My name's Chris Capel. And my dad and I would go every year. And then my wife started going. My mom started going. My daughter's been. And last year, my son, his birthday is April 7th, was too close to opening day. We couldn't go. It was the first day I missed in like 15 years. But, you know, pretty good reason not to go, right? You know, your son's being born. So then today or this year, get tickets, but uh, nope, sorry, can't go because of the corona. But that's all right. Make sure everybody's doing their safe social distancing. 
making sure that everybody is doing what they're supposed to be doing because we don't want to get anybody sick or worse off than they are. These Gypsy Queens, they come with this green parallel. Apparently, this guy is pretty good. I'm not really sure. And if you haven't noticed, I'm pretty sarcastic. Yeah, this guy's really good. J.D. Martinez, Conforto, Archer. I used to really like him down in Tampa, but I just can't vote root for anybody in a Pittsburgh uniform. But if you've never been to Pittsburgh Stadium, it is beautiful. PNC Park is a top three ballpark to go to. Great American, awful. PNC, worth the drive to go out there in Pittsburgh, at least for me. And uh, no more Maraza. This is what the Gypsy Queen packs look like. I've already opened these and put them back in. So we're just going to look through a couple more while I ramble on here. About this, that, the other. Another Vlad. Boyd. The Babe. The Great Bambino. The Swalt and the Swat. The Salt and the Swat. Oh, you mean they're the same guy? Some guy. You know, Baby Ruth. We all know what I'm talking about. Reynolds. Let's go through two more of these packs and I'll get off here. So the only thing I don't like about Gypsy Queen is the different variations are colors. They've got tarot cards in here and stuff like that. I got a little mini Aaron Judge in one of these packs. But I really like in the tops is the foils and the different colors. And now I've got that pink Juan Soto laying around here somewhere. It was on my other video. You saw the uh, the hologram on the on the card that had the wrong date on it. I really like those better. I just like the, I mean, the pictures, he still looks like a drawing on there. It is a drawing where the other ones are pictures, but Albies, Detroit, there's the mini judge, the mini judge, kind of like to say mini judge, the mini judge, the mini judge, and Grinky. He used to be a fan, not anymore. What do you think? Is it going to be a cutter, the way his fingers are sitting there? Maybe a two seam? I don't know. He's looking pretty mad down up there. Wonder if any trash cans were banging right then. Um, that's all I got for tonight. If you didn't see my, my Soto hanging out back there, this is my guy right here too. Check us out again. Like I said, I'm Goldline Cards. Second ever YouTube video. Subscribe, like, tell your friends. Try to get some more just interesting comments, interesting topics. Talk baseball, talk basketball, talk football, whatever kind of cards we're, we're showing that day. It's going to show some different products, talk about them, why I like them, why I don't like them. Uh, some different people on Twitter and Instagram. You know, my local card shop are Triple Play Baseball and Card Collector 2. Definitely go check out both of those. Uh, they've got websites, they've got Twitter, they've got Instagram. And these times when shops can't be open, you need to support your local guys. I saw Ryan from Card Collector 2 is doing some breaks now. Uh, I haven't been able to get in any because they're selling out like mad. People are at home with nothing else to do, doing their fire sale breaks. Or they're, um, they're going through and doing inventory. Basically, it's all I'm doing. I'm just a complete mess. This is my desk. Here. Cards, 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 cards. Crisabo, cards, cards, card calculator. Just wrote a paper today because I'm gonna earn my MBA next month. Cards, cards, cards. Joey Votto, football, all kinds of stuff. And then Chris Sabo back there. So that's it for today. Like, subscribe, comment. Thank you. Have a great night. Be good to yourselves and each other.